Today we are going to talk about a problem in Samsung Galaxy 2, the tablet. I don't know if you ever got a situation when the battery is totally discharged and you try to charge it and the tablet will turn on, try to charge, goes off, turn on again, as we see, went off, will come on, try to charge again, and we're getting a cycle when it cannot start. The reason is because the battery went under the operation level and the tablet will never go up in charging. What we're going to do is to make a little bypass. I took a diet and I will connect the diet right to this capacitor. As you see, it's very easy. You only have to try 100 times until you get it. Now I will take here. This is the capacitor who welcomes the voltage, is connected to pin 7 and 8. Okay. Looks good to me. Yes. Later you can do the right, take a little bit of thermal tubing, put it inside, and do something well done. I'm just showing how to solve the problem in the tablet right now. So these capacitors, they are very exposed to get damaged. So the recommendation always is result or reheat or reflow this chip, the output of this chip is underneath and this other chip and try to check this capacitor, this, capaci this capacitor, any one of these bunch of capacitors could be a problem too. My best advice, make a check of capacitors. Remember, some of them they can touch the ground in one side but in the other shouldn't. So if you find a continuity in both sides against the ground, you have a short circuit cap capacitor. You can also try to put the ohm meter on them to see if there is any kind of resistance. Some of them, when they get damaged, they will show some resistance. You are expecting a very high resistance on them. About the resistors, uh, they're, they're very, very small. My best advice is uh, you will find some logic uh, values, uh, commercial values, something that is not a commercial value uh, could be a, a broken resistor, burner resistor. Uh, remember? They should be something like 1K, 10K, 4.7K, 10 ohms, 100 ohms, something that is common, common in the commerce. And by the last uh, advice about this area, here we will get one special voltage that we will analyze and here from the battery, here to the charger, and this is the bypass system. There are two MOSFET transistors and they are controlled by this other small guy. And this is the chip who will give us the voltage source for the rest of the system and also will be in charge of give, uh, to give the voltage to the battery to charge. Very quickly, the chip that I was talking about was this. We received from the first chip we got here from this capacitor to this point in between of these uh, guys we have here the entrance that is 5 volts this is the way to the charger and this is the voltage from the battery now if we go quickly here is the battery itself, 
here is the fuel alert chip where I got my capacitor in, in troubles that I already changed. Maybe it's not uh, your problem. This is the same chip in the bigger screen. As I told you, the, it doesn't go to, directly to the ground. It goes to the battery and not exactly to the battery negative. So we'll get an offset voltage here that we use this serial resistor to put them on ground and get a measurement of the voltage file. So you remember, it tries to charge and went off. Let's see what is going on now. Now it's charging. Let me tell you, to take the battery out for 10 seconds, put it back, or to take the battery out and put it in a charger like this, to get the operation voltage again and put it back is not the solution for the problem. You are giving an appointment to your client to come back again with the tablet discharged because sooner or later they will discharge it again. So the only way to solve this problem is making a bypass as I did it. Then you are fixing the tablet. You are not transferring the problem again to the client. Thanks by watching us.